The national benchmark tests, what are they? Before you get accepted into a university in South Africa, there are a few admission requirements that you need to meet. These are different at all of the universities in South Africa, but there's one that they all have in common. That's the National Benchmark Test. If you've never heard about the National Benchmark Test, or NBT, then listen up closely. The NBT is all about measuring your academic performance and seeing how ready you are for university. You can't fail your NBTs like you would fail an exam in school. The score you achieve determines whether you'll be accepted or if you'll need extra support. It's like the cherry on top of your matric school marks. Even though you can't fail, you have to write this to be accepted into any university. Yes, I know, all of these questions are probably going through your head right now. Every university in South Africa uses your NBT results when considering your application. If you haven't written your NBT yet, they won't consider you, so make sure you write your NBT and register as soon as possible. They don't just use the NBT results for considering your application. They also use it for checking to see whether you need extra support once you're in university or if you need to be placed in an extended program. They also use it to offer early admission and to develop new curriculum. The NBTs consist of two tests, the AQL test and the math test. The AQL is the Academic and Quantitative Literacy test. All applicants need to write this test. The math test is, you guessed it, the mathematics test. This test doesn't need to be written by all applicants. You need to check on your requirements from the university to see if you need to write the math test. This will be under the admission requirements in their brochure. Well, kind of. There are a few prep questions that you should definitely use to prepare, but essentially, they're just testing your way of thinking and your basic knowledge of mathematics. The math test is mainly written when you're applying for degrees in the following faculties. Science, Health Science and Engineering. Some commerce degrees may also require that you write the math test. Just go look in the university's brochure under admission requirements to see if you are required to write the math test. Each test is three hours long. The AQL is written first. So if you're only writing the AQL, you can leave straight afterwards. If you're writing the maths, be sure to bring a snack with so you can get that extra energy that you'll need to write your math test. The test only needs to be written once. The results will get sent to all of the universities in South Africa, so there's no need to write it at each university. And what's more, the test is valid for three years, so if you decide to take a gap year or go work for a year, you don't need to write it again next year if you already wrote it this year. Make sure you write your test well in advance of your application closing date. If your application closing date is at the end of July, the latest you can write it is in the beginning of July. It takes them three weeks to mark the test, so keep that in mind when you register to write your NBT. To register, click on the NBT link below. It will take you to their website and you must just follow the steps as they prompt you to do it. The AQL costs 80 Rand and the AQL and Math together cost 160 Rand. Even though you cannot fail the NBT test, you can choose to write it a second time. The university may or may not use your second results, it all depends on what they need and what their rules are. And finally guys, if you have any more questions, please do not hesitate to ask us any questions over here or we can find some more information on our site over here. Okay, thank you guys, see you next time, bye! Questions, please don't hesitate.
hesita hesitate to contact us. Yeah. Or if you have any, if you want more information, head on to our site here. Okay. I'm sorry to have to do this to you, but... Okay. This is the. I can't tell, but a little bit. This is feared for. Don't look! 